All right, any mini money mo. Let's pick a random challenge, right? Any mini money mo. Close my eyes. Scroll, scroll. One, two, three, four. You are it. No champion, no problem. Remove the champion from the starting deck. Additional unit banners appear in limbo. And trigger abilities on friendly units trigger additional time. We're highly reactive. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Clean Seraph, we got Engrath, Wildwood Sap, and Welder Helper. Now, I'm curious. Does Highly Reactive work on Welder Helper? Because it is a trigger. Ooh, so now we have two units to choose from. Okay. Okay. Let's try it out. I need water. Demon Fiend. I can't play it right now, but like... The Hellhorn has a lot of relics to deal with that. I'm doing it. I should, see, I should see what this is first. Thorn Hollow is very good, but it's Clan Seraph. Are we better off here? I'm not sure. Ah, but Thorn Hollow is a triggered effect. Wait, is plus three strike a triggered effect? Wait, I forgot we're highly reactive, so things are totally different here. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a minute. All right, two things I need to focus on. All right, Thorn Hollow is a summon effect, which it triggers twice, which means it gets more max health. Slay triggers again because it is a trigger effect. So I get double the s stacking. So that wasn't a bad choice. Demon Fiend was just a Demon Fiend. The other one was like, okay. This is, this is just test. The idea that this should be plus six, right? Plus six. Oh boy, oh joy. Mamma mia. Mamma mia, let me take a look now. 21 strength. Whoa! 45 armor. 85 armor. I'm getting excited. GG. Well, that unit is insane. If I get multi strike, I think I win the game. Wait, still answer is pretty good. Ish. If I make Engraft free, I can play Demon Fiend. A couple of things are going on here. Engraft, if I make this free, I can play Demon Fiend. All right. Multi strike on that champion that I just saw, the streeper that gains will become insane. So it needs health. My nurse is fine. Oh, AOE. It also does twice the trigger. I have to. I have to. So this gets two stings at the end of turn. This gets plus 120 max health. That's an insane tank. And it gets double rejuvenation effects. Oh my god. Highly reactive is nuts. Excuse me for getting so excited. Multi-strike would be huge here. Okay. On top of multi-strike being huge... I would say some health is not bad, because if I get multi-strike, it's going to scale like a monster. Then all that matters is that it stays healthy, right? Because 10 is a little low. Is that fair? This means I have AoE for the rest of the game. I can make another one, so I can put one on another lane. It's a good unit, man. 
The deck's done. The deck is actually done. Let me get some more coffee. So the yeah, I got coffee. Thanks guys for being patient. All right, so the mutations are highly reactive, so triggered abilities apply twice. So that means the slay effect when I kill a unit happens twice. The, the summon effect when I gain health, max health, that happens twice. The rejuvenation effect when that gets triggered, it happens twice. It goes on and on. It's really good. And then the other one is in the beginning of the game, you get two, two choices of units. And that seems minuscule when you think about it, right? But then you think about it further and you're like, well, if trigger abilities are happening twice, that makes a lot of units insanely good. So with that in mind, I was able to uh, already almost have a deck that's done. So this is an endless thing that's, that happens twice. One problem is the fact that it has armor is bad for me. Because I can't kill my own imp. That sucks. But take a look. Oh, now this is awkward because now I can't get all these beautiful slay effects. Ah, fuck. So that's one, two. Six damage? This is fine. Slay effect. Perfect, slay effect. Max health? Fuck it. Wait, I want to put max health here. But then he won't get the slay effect. But I want the max health tank to be here. Fine. Put it up there. Ah, we're gonna lose a little bit more life. But that's fine. Power health is just a resource, right? It's just fine. Let's put this on this guy. Wait. That is just too good, man. This is too good. It's just too good. Oh my god, it's just too good. It's just too good. This is too good. If I give this thing, um, re region, does it just win? <laughs> Do you hit twice so quick? No, it doesn't make you attack twice. Is quick is not a triggered ability? I don't think. I I'll check. I'll check. I don't think quick is a triggered ability. I don't even need glimmer. But I kind of do because at the same time, my molten imp doesn't die. But why was that insane? What am I talking about? Okay, molten imp is really good. This is AoE, guys. One of them's endless and one of them's not. I still think we want to take this. But ascending could be very useful because I could ascend my slayers into like the tank lane or something like that. I think ascend is very useful. Man, I mean, another multi-nip is good. I mean, multi-nip is just so good, but... Artifact versus upgraded spells. I want the pyre health as well. I, I'll be honest, the pyre health could be a little bit useful. I'll do pyre health. I could duplicate some... Oh, no, I'm not in that challenge. Remove consume? That seems kind of nice, right? Wow, what's happened? Remove consume? Oh, this is cleanse Seraph. Let me not get ahead of myself. Store 11 health. Hmm. Mind grasp. Hmm. Let me not get ahead of myself. Engraft. So if, Engra if, if Engraft is free, we talked about this. If Engraft is free, we can play Demon Fiend if we're lucky. I can copy a card five times. Do I just copy Engraft five times? And now I don't really need to get lucky. It would be unlucky for me not to find Demon Fiend on the same turn as Engraft. Right? So on the first go-through of Engraft, it's awkward because it doesn't give you positive draw. It's just a negative draw for that turn. In fact, it's just a negative draw all around. It's a negative draw all around. But it creates... 
And double trigger effects on the Woken Hollow. I'm curious. We're becoming surgeon with how much we're grafting here. Yeah, Wild Whisper is very good. The problem is it's Clan Seraph, so I don't know. It, it kind of destroyed me, but even then, it's still. Maybe Clan Seraph is still not even good enough. <laughs> like, maybe Clan Seraph is not even good enough to, enough to handle that. Slay effects are nuts. Mm -hmm. I can put this in front. Uh, so I'm gonna take some pyre damage. That's fine, right? That's fine. Wait, I meant to hit Apprentice. Oopsies. Oh, my bad. I meant to hit Apprentice. Yeah, I need multi and hollow. I know, I know, I know. On the hollow, yeah, multi on the hollow wouldn't be bad. Multi on the shadow show wouldn't be bad either. On the shadow show would be nuts. Jesus. Anything that isn't the Seraph is gonna get destroyed by this region. It's so gross. Oh shit! So shard channel would be nuts if this wasn't Clan Seraph. I would do shard channel and we do like some some region spike stuff. Okay, one horn tome is insane, but also insanely expensive. How do I even play this? I need to upgrade it twice with negative energy. All right, sign me up. I think we need card draw for engraft because there's too many engrafts in the deck. But if I get energy, I can play this a little bit easier, and I also can play Demon Fiend. But I don't really care about Demon Fiend at this point because I didn't quite grasp the idea of how strong triggered effects are. So Demon Fiend is just a curse. I think card draw helps me do the engraft and find the units that I need to find, but it helps me do engraft things more easily. And then I just gotta upgrade this twice. And Cardra also helps Demon Fiend be playable with Engraft in mind. <clears throat> I wonder if I multi strike yet. Oh shit. Problem is I don't have pipsies for all this. Who would want the health? I want multi strike on these shadow shells, but I, I can't really get that right. So one of these shadow shells is not gonna get the multi strike. Should I just get this guy health so he's healthier? Or 
should I make one of my shattered cells like an ultra tank? And then it would... So one of these would be ultra tank. I'm doing every trial, which is fantastic. Whoa! You want to see something cute? I think a little bit of I think a little bit of leakage is fine. A little bit of leakage never killed nobody. One hundred stones gonna be a difficult thing to get around, huh? The leakage is starting to add up. This guy's getting big. The leaks are just trying to add up. A little bit of leakage comes a lot of leakage. It's okay. The health is a resource. Hoggers. Oh my goodness. Focus growth is pretty good. Draw negative two next turn, but plus one. Whoa. For one turn, I get minus two draw, but it's plus one energy for the rest of battle. That would help play one horn's tome, but focus growth is pretty good. Pyre grow is not bad. So this is triggers twice. A random consuming spell I get to play again. And consuming spells that I have are potentially one horse home if I get around to that. But the Wildwood Saps are consuming spells. Now this is not bad for burst damage because I do have these imps that are endless that I want to get rid of. And this could be a good way to do some damage. But this brings back consuming spells, aka my region. The problem with the region is that Clan Seraph, who cares? That's still damn good. We want to find multi strike, yeah? But I also want to upgrade one hundred stone to be cheaper. 
Because I actually think it's quite useful. Which is multi-strike. Wait, double stack? Wait. That's probably manageable. And if I get the Impish Scholar on that, that's pretty manageable. That's really good. Artifact. Whoa, this is really good. Cards of Consume. Ah, this is decent too. So now we have these Consume Synergies, or it's like with Strange Spoon, or aka Wing Clippings, and then we have the Imp that brings like these things. And if One Harm so much played, then I can get it back potentially. But the cloak is pretty good. The problem with the cloak is that it can mess up my slay effects. But at this point, if I just get multi strike on the big. Ooh, we got stealth boss. Oh, none of us enemies are going to get plus multi strike. Okay. But I get artifacts for my troubles. This guy's going to be an AoE multi strike sweeper. What's up, Samothy? How you doing, buddy? Multi-strike sweeper. Is that too much to handle? I've got beef, but my backline is like... More like tofu. <laughs> there you go. The corner's rigged against you the moment you rely on it. You give your monitor and try how to mod Skyrim? That's awesome. She's going to have a blast with Skyrim. Uh, goodbye to Natasha's life. I've got beefy units, but... Alright, we're beefy. I'm beef boy. I do think my backline could be a little bit tofu-ish, but... It's more beef than tofu. All right, I want to get the sleigh going. Is sleigh more important than keeping my life? Because like, I could prevent this life. But if I do this, the problem is this guy is gonna end up getting stronger because he's gonna slay the multi nymph. But then I get to draw it again, which is not bad. But I want to draw other cards, don't I? I don't know, because if I... Then I don't get the Slay Trigger. And the Slay Trigger seems pretty important. Subscribe with Twitch Prime for free! Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, Sam. Appreciate it. 14 months, let's go. What do you guys think? The Slay Trigger or multi Nimp, and then I mess up my draw later on, but I do 10 damage. Problem is, I want to draw this again for other mult. No, I want. Multi is kind of awkward actually. Because I have such good AoE. Here's my hollow. Oh no. So the way for me to kill this collector is to do a woken hollow and then focus growth. Ew. It's a little bit iwi. But I want that gold, right? It's kind of gross. Because I can also do a Woken Hollow here and then focus growth 25 damage and start managing this leakage. And just ignore 75 gold. Or I can put this up top. And then my units will be disjointed, but I do have Ascend if necessary. But then I can't play my Shattered Shell, which has Large Stone. Oh, I need energy, guys. Because Focus Growth is actually needs to be played. It's one of my best cards. Then I don't get to play Shattered Shell. Ah. Uh, that's okay. 
It's okay. Is it though? The leakage is kind of nuts. Is it okay? What's the secret behind Cloak? Every, uh, I found it really, really bad, and almost everyone I play, when I woke up, you just either die or have a billion region, and while some of Woken decks struggle with frontline damage, Cloak is just way too slow, little, and most often my, part, my partner clan can deal with these. I mean, you raise good points. I think Cloak is particularly nice in this one because, uh, I am struggling to handle frontline stuff. And even then, it's, you know, it's very marginal. It's not helping that much. But it helps you versus the other option, which wind clippings. I think the cloak could be like nice supplemental damage and value in certain situations versus the clip clippings, which, I mean, I was privy to the clippings, but sometimes I'm stacking region. The cloak can be meaningful, more meaningful, I think. In the very least, it's more controllable. Um, I'm leaking on the control right now. It's very bad leakage. Oh boy, wait. I have multi-strike? Does this guy kill me? So, Cloak just saved me the game. Cloak just saved me the game. I have to do multi-strike, because I, I can't do ascend, because then I can't do multi-strike. So I'm going to take 8 damage, but we just, we just won the game. And now I got to just... We're, we're, we're fine. We're, we're stabilized. We're, everything's fine, but... I need to get rid of the stuff, so I'm going to play that there. And now I can bring back... Wait, you ready for this? One Hunt's Tome. Oh my god. Becky... Now I gotta redraw it. You ready? Can I get rid of screen shake? I thought there wasn't an option. Did they add an option to get rid of screen shake? I'll get rid of it in an instant. Done. It wasn't there before. I'll take this energy. Hell yeah. Draw. I'll take the draw. Hell yeah. Pirate Chomper. That could help me play. I get energy, exactly. Uh, I'm trying to do it. Salah made a command, but it's not working. Yeah, I get eight energy. The problem with this is that what I, what I do for that eight energy? I just need more card draw then? Fine, 8 energy sounds nice. But maybe it's a little bit misguided. I need pyre health. I kind of just want to go here because of pyre health, but 
I do want to remove and I do, I do want to duplicate. I see more card draw to take advantage of that. Now the thing is, um, at least now this is a card draw that consumes, so I can do Impish Scholar to bring back Big Green Solution and get more card draw continuously. Now if I remove cards, my deck is more clean. The only issue is. My pyro health is very low. Am I going to be greedy and not re heal my pyro health? In order to make my deck stronger? I wonder if I duplicate my Awoken Hollow. Nah, I think we just duplicate this. This is very greedy, but if we can survive... We win the game. If we beat this right here, the game's over. So this is the final boss, guys. Huge start. Massive start. I should have played Team of Fiend in that lane, I think. I should have played Team of Fiend in that lane. Hmm. And now we can go back in time and say, okay, this is what happens when you use Team of Fiend properly. Alright. Let's just close our eyes. Oh. Ah, tragic. Don't make the face. Don't make the face. Don't make the face. Is a new challenge? It's a good question. Surprise! Demon Fiend's here now. I need to kill this thing faster. So for her, yeah. So for her is sick. I'll get it back eventually.
So the, here's the thing about the, the social media challenge, right? What bothered me so much, and what this is like the trials and tribulations of a content creator. I had done it, the whole thing. Super energetic. I was, I thought I was making funny jokes, making funny commentary. Everything was fresh, original. Don't tell anybody about this, all right? And I was like, uh, I was super happy about the footage that I made. I thought, man, I killed it. That was super funny. That was super, super witty, whatever. Like, I, the audio and the mic wasn't on. The whole thing was muted. And I was like, no, you're shitting me. And at the time, I was thinking to myself, like, well, I got to do something. I got to, I want to post, you know, I got to, I got to do something. So I got to do the whole thing over again. And the whole time I'm doing it, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I kind of want to reuse the joke that I said earlier because I thought that was kind of funny. But then it wasn't natural and organic. So then I'm saying something again, and then it felt forced. And then I'm being second guessing myself. The whole thing was a mess. The cam is the synchro now for some reason. I don't know why. So then I'm just like, oh yeah, this looks like the devil's pubes or something like that. Which was kind of funny the first time I said it. Or something like that. And the second time around, it was just like, that's a funny joke that... I don't know. It just goes to show you that sometimes you're making content, there's a tragic nature of sometimes mic is muted, cam's not recording, and you gotta do it all over again. That's life. That's life. I could have voiced over the original footage. I could have. Yeah, you could have. But then it's like... I could have done that. You're right. That's not the route I took. Where are my engrafts? So I can play my one horn tome. Yeah, the voiceover would be crazy, and I was just like, "Whatever, I'll refilm it. Whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll do everything over again. Whatever, it, it's, it is what it is." That's not the first time that happened. There's been times where we, I felt something. So with L, we 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 had a YouTube channel that was pretty successful, more successful than mine, and we had to film things over again. And when I'm in L, in the element, I'm trying to be funny and witty. I'm like making jokes about L. You know, I'm talking about her eyebrows. I don't know, something stupid. And then you got to do it over again. Well, that's just, it happens, it is what it is, but it sucks when it happens. Okay. Unleash the Wildwood. So, that was the original marker of our fame was me and L. we had a channel that hit 100,000 subscribers plus, we have a plaque for it. Um, yeah, I was 100k indie on YouTube. With conjunction with L. it was L's channel, uh, but I helped. Anyways. Unleash is crazy, but then I don't get the power of healing my dudes. It's just the guy's full health. I'll, I'll talk to you after, Sam. Sam, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with all these dealings. We'll share with all the sisters all the stuff that they need to learn. And they'll open up a whole new chapter about Jeremiah. And they'll learn about Jeremiah. But what if we get another one horn tome? We gain energy in this next thing, and then we go for one horn tome again. Only so well, it is absolutely bonkers. Leave the tome alone. Leave the, the hollow alone and un unleash the shells. But what if we one horn tome? I'm saying the word so much, it's sounding weird. One horn tome. <clears throat> we get this minus energy, and then we're going to get energy now, and we should be able to play this. Multi strike is king. Semantic satiation. If you say the word biscuit, 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 
biscuit, biscuit, biscuit, biscuit. You say any word more, more than more than once. It starts sounding really weird. Through, through, thorough, thorough, thorough. Thorough is a word? Thorough, thorough, biscuit. You start saying these words, they sound weird and it's not, none of it makes sense. What is English language? All right, so. I do want to upgrade spells, aka. I want to make. Wild would be like permafrost, or wild would have on holdover, right? But there's also a world we get endless on impish scholar would be insane. We can go for artifacts and go for upgrades, yes, or we can go for endless on impish scholar or multi strike on one of these dudes. Sign me up. The challenge is easier, yeah, it is. Alright, so we can do multi-strike on this guy. He's gonna be a powerhouse. Or we can multi-strike this guy, and he'd be our sweeper for the ages. And he sweeps, sweep, 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 slay, 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 scale, 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 scale. No, I'm saying that the endless imp is gonna be in the thing. Okay, but what's more filthy? This guy? Who's going to be my one horn tome recipient or the sweeper? Let's give this guy health then. And we have, we're running out of money, but we're going to save the money for the big shop at the end. I'm being greedy. I'm saving money for the big, big finale. Spikes? I could manage that. But it's gonna start hurting me. But here's the thing, I do have a full heal. Nah, we're saving money for the next floor. And the next run. And the next game. And the prequel, the sequel, and everything else in between. You gotta save money, man. Nah, but what we're gonna do is consider the spikes, because we have heals. But the thing is, the thorns is gonna make my sweeper not last very long. And then I had to like clutch out the wildwood. It's a lot of money, sure, but at what cost of losing it all? All right, guys, I'm going to trust that I get the heal on time. I uh, just want to let you guys know this never works out. Trusting something's going to come at the right time is a horrible strategy. You should not employ it in your day-to-day -day life. But here we are. Oh, my God. You know what that means, guys? That means when I get Impish Scholar... When I get Impish Scholar... As a matter of fact, I'll just show you. We got the heal in time, dude. Wait. Everything's dying. Except the enemies. Alright. You want to play one heart zone, yeah? Because you don't want these things to die. You don't want to leak, I mean. Okay. Everything's dying. Do I care about this thing dying? No, right? That's our shitty sweeper. We want the, the, the Omega sweeper to be healed. And we let the shitty sweeper die. We're going to get some leakage. 
but then after that leakage, we should be never leak again because this thing is doing. Let me see. Can you? Twenty-five times five. That's gonna keep scaling. So we want to make our Omega Sweeper heal. Yeah. Okay. So when I sweep, I'm do. I'm taking five five. Damn. Taking way too much damage. All right. I should not play that last consume because now if I get Impish Scholar. Hey, it's not hit. It's not gonna hit 100 tomes guaranteed. But if it hit 100 tomes here, guys, check this out. Oh my God! This thing has seven multi strike, but I can't play it yet because this guy's gonna die. He's still gonna die. This guy's healing just fine. I think I should start prioritizing healing this Shattered Shell, no? We lost bot lane. Because I'm not killing the units in the back. The multi strike is kicking my ass. The spikes are kicking my ass too, to be fair. If I had quick, I could kill the multi strike before it affects me. So quick would be huge here. I mean, I could just put all the reason here and then the boss would never kill me, right? If I just fully stack this guy up top, he can never die. The problem is I'm a little bit worried. I mean, I'll do it. Like, he's never going to die. Yes, I might lose the mid lane, but the top lane is never going to die. Okay. So. Multi-strike is the problem. So what if I just trap shoot the multi-strike? Then it's a lot more manageable. I guess I could have done Vine Grasp. That was probably more important. Vine Grasp is probably stronger. Vine Grasp is probably stronger. Whoops. Well, guys, can the boss beat this? I need to know. You guys ready? Can the boss beat this? Okay, well, if I don't kill the damn multi strike quick enough, then it might be too much to handle, actually. Seventy three times seven and thirty six times two. Can someone tell me why I put that guy to the top? Why did I just take power damage for free? Matter of fact, don't ask me. Don't ask me. Alright, so we're short of help draw two. This is a pretty good card, I think. I think it's pretty good. Healing and card draws seem to be very good for this deck. Oh man. I'll do one more of these. This deck for example would be pretty good. Sometimes these imps are out of control in terms of like they're in my they're in my way. Cause winning these plus two draw, yeah. Custodian does. Can I go back? Custodian does do that. I'm losing it. All right, let's go upgrade our uh, our spells. 
Remove consume. Ah. Oh, let's take a look at this first. What am I doing? Take a look at this first. When they enter the power room, get days, okay? Yes, let's get this insane. I'm gonna reroll. Plus your magic power? Oh my god. Wait, is the bloating oh, I'll do magic power. It's fine. Let's go ahead and um reroll. Double stack? Oh shit. Four days? Mm hmm Or ten region. The thing is, she has it anyway, so I'm going to do four days. And then we're going to go ahead and make focus growth cheaper. Let's go ahead and remove, at this point, the torches. Oh, no, the torches are good now because now we have magic power. Ooh, the torches are actually quite good. Uh, now this is awkward because... It's just a one-horned tome... It's just, I, I just make a big unit and that's it. Like the game, that's all I do. My deck just makes a big unit and that's it. I do think it's fine. I'd rather have units out on the board that I can play, get out of my deck. I actually removed regions here. I'll show you why. I'd rather draw into torches more often to kill the things but th these things actually scale me so all right now if i do unleash the wild on this i'm full life how, how does that affect my region stuff okay one problem is that this is gonna scale my my guy like crazy in terms of the attack, but he's gonna get very hurt. I have to, I have to keep him alive somehow. The focus growth keeps him alive. Focus growth is insane. And now I do Angraft. Play Demon Fiend here. Demon Fiend helps me control leakage. Demon Fiend is very good. It does 50 damage. It's a really good way to control leakage. Focus Growth is keeping my guys alive. It's insane. Focus Growth is insane. I think putting one wild well, one on this guy is pretty useful. I need one hunt tome here to stop the leakage. We found one hunt tome, but we we found one hunt tome. This is good. This is great. This is more than good. It's great. I have impish scholar as well. What if I put it on this guy? Oh shit! But my ultimate goal should have this guy be scaled up though. I mean, I got a little overzealous. Cause this guy's my ultimate scaler. Oh my god. Wait, he's got scaling like crazy too, but he doesn't have the same health. Oh 
mean, this guy's scaling with damage. Like, look at his damage scaling. It's fucking nuts. Excuse my French. And if I can slowly ascend him up, I can just ascend him up to the top, and this would be my ultimate tank. It's kind of GG. He kills everything. Unleash the wildwood. Boom. Problem is I can't do one hundred stone because of Ember Drain. Ember Scholar would be so nuts if I could do one hundred stone right now. I need to play one hundred stone. It goes without saying though that all of the uh, look at the damage. All right, final wave. I'll make the wildwood again. Wait, now I send him. Now I send him up. Now I send him upwards. I need to get one hundred times with this guy's my final boss. I want to get rid of these units, actually. These units are bad. Oh, but now I, now I draw that unit again. Fuck. Wait, what if I do 100 turn one more time? Does that just win? Wait. Oh, <laughs> wait. Did I, not, did I not even need the top lane? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Don't say that. Oh, no, no, no. Two tomes? <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, the guy on the top is just insurance, I guess. We did it. So this was an easier challenge to beat, I gotta say. No champion, no problem. It really means no champion, no problem. Because highly reactive is an insane, insane mutator. So this challenge was pretty easy. Oh shit. Oh, I feel so giddy. Look at this card frame. Oh, we gotta try it on. We gotta try it on. <laughs>